So, right now we're talking about financial literacy, but we're going to do with you in this program with me. We're talking about business. You understand? Being in business. The ultimate freedom. Being in business. All right? Anybody tell me what entrepreneur is? Uh, let's go with that one. Someone who owns their own business. Yes. What else? Give me some more. Go ahead.
doing business about black people. When you're doing business out here, it's a whole different landscape than you're doing business than anybody else. Because of the way you're educated. But you're educated that way on purpose. Because, hey, stand up if you have to go to sleep. Because what I'm about to say is going to save your life. Stand up. The truth is about to come. But the truth that I didn't find out until later on in life. I don't wish I could go through the same pain that I went through because I was miseducated. That's why the most powerful thing was what? I can't hear you. Read. No, I can't hear you. Read. If I didn't sit back and read the right books, the same books that's not in your library in the Detroit area, I had to go buy books or take them. That's how I got this education I'm sitting in right now. But it had to be books that I thought, that I read about and seen that was, that was good enough for me to read, to make my mind smart, like thinking for a rich man, Napoleon Hill. Like to see this guy, uh, the wrong figure about John H. Johnson. Studying people like Henry Ford. Studying business. That's free. I'm a free man. Mental, physical, financial, spiritual, all of that. And I want to see you the same way. Young lady, just like my daughter, she's going to be edu educated. She needs a job anywhere. Job makes money, because she's raised that way. But we have a problem. That's why I try to tell you to educate yourself out outside of school. Because the reason people bully you, you're up against the ultimate book. The system of things out of this government. Because these two people sitting up here, what what are what what color? What are they? Black, right? Yeah. See you? They are the most powerful thing on the planet. They repeat myself. They're the most powerful thing on the planet. And that's why you have to miss that. Because if it was a level playing field, couldn't nobody compete. You understand, young man? I don't think I understand what I'm saying. They probably never heard it before. They have to bully you by miseducating you, shooting you, killing you, all that. Come to your community, making sure you don't get along with them, making them sure they don't get along with each other, so you can come in there and open up businesses in your community. And you know what we don't do? Name me uh, a product that you can sell in Asia. Rice. Why? Okay, that's not all they eat. What about that Chinese food they be selling? Or they just sell it to you? What? Asian chicken. Huh? Asian chicken. Asian chicken? What's Asian chicken? You say eggs and chicken? Okay, what else? Go ahead, brother. You can sell them their own predictive things. This dumb man is a genius. I like that. But they got all great, got great asses. Go ahead. Down place. Down place. But when you get out here and try to sell them, guess what? The policy is to not buy from you. You'll find that out. And anything I'm telling you, do your research. Don't take my word for it. Do your research. Their job is to get your money, not you get their money. Yeah. Where is it in your community? Where is their community? But the point I'm saying is, everybody studies our spending habits. They know you like Jordans and all that. They know the different things that you like. That's why they put the music out here. All this music, so you can be focused on spending your money. They living off 98%, of, they live off 100% of their money and 98% of your money. You may be living off 2%. Now, when you, get a, you leave your house, take $100. And let me, t t tell me how many times you will spend with black people. Uh, I'm talking about for stuff like soap, uh, toilet paper. No, for me, a lot. My family will be very black Okay, but see, now, she just said that. I just said, I just said a, a problem, right? Right, Jay? That's an opportunity right there. Now, what did you just say? We're heavy on black-owned business. What do you mean by that? 
Now, how can she help us? Scott. Her family can invest in a black mm -hmm. or black How can she help us? Being a leader. A leader at what? How can she help us? She can help us by spending a couple, by helping by extra family to support this black business. That's she said that her, her family knows a lot of black businesses, right? So how can she help us? Spread the word. Spread the word. We, we getting there, come on people. I don't mean no disrespect, but if you get your feelings, so what? Let's take the shackles off your, your brains for a bit. Take the shackles off, because when you got chains on your wrist, you can look over and see freedom. When you got chains on your mind, you look over, you don't even see freedom. Okay? Mm, help me out. They can show the other businesses to support us. No. Thank you, boy. Mm -hmm. Like how her mom invested, or well, her mom put money to get us the bus for a chance of No, her mom used her resource to find a bus. Us collectively, what she called group, group what? Group we can not. Us putting our money together, we have to purchase the bus. People, listen, let, 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 let's stop right now. Let's listen. Her, her parents, what she can do right now is do what John H. Johnson did. What did John H. Johnson do? John H. Johnson made magazines, like Ebony, then Ebony Jr., Jet, and Negro Digest. And what were they about? You know, it was all about black, black people, black business. No, it's about black, about black positivity, the black community. Oh, so the no, point is, what we need to do, what Megan should do is list. My mom and Aaron said, I'll have to box, I'll be good, I'm going to do for pressure, I'm going to go deeper in the water. Okay. I'm going to go deeper in the water, I'm going to be, be safe on the water. Okay. So what Megan could, could do, Megan could list all the black businesses that she has, Jennifer. that her family has. And then let me let me speak, my brother. Let me speak. That she has, and make a like a black yellow pages. And she comes in and she puts it online, and now she listed all the black business, like like a, like it was several black beauty su beauty supply places out here. But where are they? We got one on on a, on Manchester and Woodward that I know of. That means we're shopping black. It's very important to shop black. But you have to give us that customer service, and that's what we don't we lack because we were taught to not like each other. So if I don't like Felix, stand up, Felix. Have a seat, Felix. Right here. Right here. This is a computer store. They, these people own a computer store. I want you to give me an example of current bad business. I want you to say, excuse me, I'm looking for a computer. Go ahead. Excuse me, I'm looking for a computer. All right. Go so on. Now, what did she say? Uh, I was OK, what did he say? Uh, OK. I know, go find one. Say, go well, find one. Now, what you going to do now? You're going to get up and go find it, right? Whose store is it? Uh, Who knows the inventory in their store? Yeah. Do you? No. So now you're going to go back there and waste your time trying to find a computer. It's all kind of computers, right? Okay, now, give an example of good customer service. A person that actually want to make some money. Go ahead, ask them. Excuse me, but I don't get a Do you have any computers? Okay. Go ahead. Now, what would you say? Okay. Okay. And 
what? Oh, this outlet. And what? Oh, and have a great day. Sir. No. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. You say, I'll never let me show you. Oh. Boom. That's excellent customer service. Because you're trying to get what? Money. You're trying to get the money. What are you trying to do? You know, you're not sitting this door talking. Uh, to help you. All right. So, step back. Step back. Maggie, you the customer. I want you to come in with an attitude, Megan. Start, start from there. Come in with an attitude. You trying to get the money now. You're going to be fine. You're about to stick them up. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let me do it, Maggie. Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, I'm coming to, I'm coming to the store. Now, I'm the bad customer. You got to sell me now. Because you know what people do? They don't know me, right? Listen, come on now. They don't know me, right? Yeah. They don't know me. So that means, see, what we, t- we do, we look at each other. Why? Because he's black. Lance is broke. Well, Lance ain't got no money. But Lance is broke because he's black. Because they just saw the stereotypes and everything out here in the world. You see what I'm saying? So they don't know how much money you got. Never underestimate some person's spending. Always treat people as if they're millionaires. All right? Always do that. Because you're trying to make what? Money. You want business to make what? Money. You're not a business just to be there looking cute. Oh, I got an LLC. I've had it for two years. You, you, you been doing any business with it? No, but I have an LLC. So what's the point? Don't you got the paperwork, but do you got the business? So I'm going to come into the store. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, I'm, looking for a, I'm looking for a computer. Like a desktop or a laptop? Shh, you got a computer. What do you say? Uh, what's that, sir? Are you, what type of computer are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for, uh, well, you see what I do is I take pictures, and I be trying to save the pictures and manipulate the pictures and turn them into art. What? Oh, mm-hmm. so what I said usually on, like, what type of device is it on, like, uh, camera or, like, oh, oh. I mean, actually, my daughter does it. You know, she does it on her phone or something like that. Well, she has a, um, she has, she got me a laptop, but I hardly ever know how to use it. So you need something that's easy to use? Yeah. yeah okay. I can get you like a, a Dell laptop. Dell? Yeah, Dell. Okay. That's like a room? Yeah. Like you guys should make like, what is there, like, that room? Or like, that room? I want something I can carry with me in a small briefcase. Okay, what's in that port? Oh. So you have them in the store? Yeah, they're in um, Iowa. I can look at these. Okay, well, do you have a boat? I would like to buy a honey. Honey? Uh, we might be able to get that for you, sir. Might? No. We do. Okay, well, I need a honey today. Today? Uh, okay, I can look at it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do it. Am I scaring y'all? Oh, no. Sir. People don't come and spend that kind of money? No, sir. Oh, okay, well, I need a honey today now. When I go back to the office, I may need two hundred. So y'all take cash. You take uh, what kind of? You take credit cards. If you take, uh, I got cash app. I got. Okay. All right. So can we um, we can do this fast? Okay. Well, thank you very much. Now you see that? See, I went from one computer to a hundred. You never know who you're dealing with. Never. So don't ever underestimate somebody. Be ready to get that bread, Melvin. Well, treat them like a. This person right here. Young man, wake up. Go to sleep at night because I'm talking about the series. Any questions about what I'm talking about? We talk about salesmanship. All right? Yes, young man. Come on up. All right, this is Lance. All right, this is weird. We just switched this into a. Um, this is a. a uh, you need them to build your website. And I need you two to step out. Skyler, up here. 
Wait, 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 Tyler, up here. Now these two people own a web, they own a web design, a website design business. And you're looking for a website, all right? So start from the beginning. This is going to be the last one, all right? Come on in. Now this is, we're trying to sell them, remember, treat him like a millionaire. Don't treat him like a, like he's some bum. Hi, welcome to our store. What are you looking for today? I'm down, bro. What type of website for food or like shopping or just for, just a regular website? Just sit down in the chair properly. No, relax. I'll finish up. Find out what kind of website he does. Yeah, Ask him, say, he said, what? He said, soups. Okay. Now, as he's walking, 
That's when he developed it. He's asking me questions like, so what kind of business are you in? Keep going. Well, I'm in the construction. I'm, you know, work on houses and things like that. You know, now you may say, you may think in your mind, who do I know? Well, my uncle's in real estate. You see, you're developing a friend first. Then you said, y'all know y'all got me? Pay attention. Very important. Who you trying to make what? Money. I can hear you, uh, man. Yeah, trying to make money. money. Trying to make money. Young man, wake up. Any questions? Now, let's, let's do this real quick. Name your problem in our community that we can possibly make money off of. Alex. Huh? What? Nobody paying attention. He said no one paying attention. I like that. I like that. What how can we make the money off of people not paying attention? That's the second. How? Uh, it's like black pay attention, like uh like customer service and like that. You don't know how can we make money off people not paying attention? That's a serious stuff. Because with a lot of people I don't pay attention. Because what they don't pay attention to? The the Huh? Like surroundings. Their surroundings. So what can we sell stuff to people that, that don't pay attention? What? What about security cameras? Because you say they're not paying that pay attention, they still pay, right, Jay? What else? ADHD. What is ADHD? What? What is ADHD? ADHD is where it's where you have a, a lack of concentration. What is ADHD? Oh, what is that? Is it attention deficit hearing disorder? No. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes. Class, class. What's ADHD? What's that for? Attention deficit disorder. What's Hyper the H for? Hyper. Hyper. Uh, Hyper. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And then people sell you drugs, don't they? Yes. yes. They sell you drugs because they say you can't pay attention. They say you can't pay attention. So the, so the big drug companies. The real ones, not the, the little small time drug companies. They, young man, sit properly in that chair. You don't know. They sell drugs. They come up with these things called, uh, listen, listen, pay attention, just like y'all doing right now. You see what you say? You say people not pay attention, what? Right? So the drug companies come up with a, 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 a drug to sell you. They tell the doctors who are the biggest drug dealers in the world, pay attention, Alex. To diagnose their children, especially when it's poor or single mother. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, saying I'm, not, I'm not picking on you, Megan, or whatever. I'm just saying the statistics. They have you believing that your child is has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So now they're selling you drugs. And they, they can sell you these drugs for the rest of your life. No cure, just treatment. No cure for it, just treatment. So, I mean, I can make money off until she's 100 years old. The same thing they do with diabetes. You catch diabetes, they say, the doctor said you have diabetes. They sell you diabetic drugs, insulin or whatever, and you're on the insulin for the rest of your life. Which is that both are reversible. When I was coming up, you, you was hyper. My grandma said, okay, I need you to go out there and uh, I need you to cut that grass, dig up them, the weeds, whatever. By the time you, you're going to be paying attention. You ain't going to be hyper. Oh, you running around in hyper? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna need you to uh, sit down and do some homework. I'm gonna give you something. See, other than being on drugs, that's what they that's what they like to do. They 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 have made an opportunity off of that. Now, my daughter, she works at the uh, Wayne State University. She's a chemist. She works for Big Pharma. That's what we call it, Big Pharma. And they sell they sell the drugs. So they. They come up with stuff. They, now I told my daughter, I say either you could be, you could work for, industry, 
making two hundred thousand dollars a year, maybe two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it two hundred fifty thousand? Or, or get the hair out your mouth, brother. Or she can have her own laboratory. Her own laboratory. Like the biggest chemical company in the world, BASF. Last year they made 70 billion. You see the difference? Point I'm making here right now is it's got to pay attention. Because it's something that I wasn't taught. I'm talking to y'all about real freedom. Why do you think we don't have no black business in our community? I don't really know. No, no. Because people don't have, don't have a knowledge. They don't want to use it. Because it's rough. They don't loan you money when you're black. For business, your people don't invest in you. My grandmother's the only person I know that would invest in you. They don't even understand what you're talking about. Like he said, you got to stack your money and invest like you did with your shoes. But see, when they come to this country, they give them money. Stand up. They give them money to go do business in your community. Get the hair out your mouth, brother. They give them a head start. They give them help. Other than that, they can't compete with you in your truest form. And you can have a business right now. See that phone right there? That's a money-making device. Everybody who has a phone in this room should be rich. Because you can make money. I make money already off that phone. And I'm not, I'm not even on, to, I'm on, the, on the internet like that. People call me all day long. I have the option either go get some money or don't. They call me. I pick the phone. Hello, how can I help you? Oh, let me look that up on the internet. I got internet on my phone. I got answer service on my phone. They can text me. I can text the price to them, all that. Make money all day. When I was still all we had was a page. Beep, 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 beep. You got to look for a phone. Now, a lot of you people walk around with these phones like it's a joke. I mean, you got the expensive iPhones and all that. You got social media. Megan is using social media right now as a business. It's very smart. So, um, the 24th, we were supposed to be coming up with $100, uh, excuse me, $25 investment in a business. And you're supposed to make up $100 by the 24th. We only had a few people in the class that even participated. So, we're going to have to move the date up. Well, everybody's, we're challenging people. Take a $25 investment, and in two weeks, make $100. Off your business. I ain't talking about... So I give it to you, whatever. Invest. I'm an investment banker. What's an investment banker do? Invest in stocks. Invest in stocks. What else? They buy to your business. And the stocks are a form of business. So, but you also got resources. You come up with a plan. You may give it to your father, mother, auntie, uncle. So I need twenty-five dollars invested in this business. So I, because in, 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 in two weeks, I only makes one hundred dollars. But it's got to be a business that you got to look for a want to. You got to look for a problem or a need. So people that's in this program right now, that's what we're going to be doing. You, want, you don't want to participate, I feel sorry for you. Yes? Uh, so within them days where it's going to two weeks, are we able to accept products like the class? Yeah, like, are, are we able to accept products like people like you, like you, or like people like that? Yes. I could be a potential customer or whatever. You're the business. You know, I expect good customer service. I'm not spending a quarter with you. I expect you to have a receipt book. I expect that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work on learning how to write a receipt. I respect thank you. And you know what's, what's more important than that? I'm gonna finish up with this. What's my phone number, Megan? Off, your, off the top of your head. 313. Well, see, well, I understand that because usually I talk to your parent. I don't talk to you. 
I talk to your parents. But the point I'm making is, it's called a follow-up. If I did business with you, you have to keep a record of it. Because I could be a, nothing better than a repeat cup. Which means you have to be like, even when you see me, coach, how was the uh, the fruit trip? How did you like it? You think I could do anything to, to make it better? Blah, blah, blah. And you write that information down. Because you want me to be the repeat customer. You want to make me happy. And you want to make me spend more. It's like you, Cameron. You give me my shoes, you know what I want. I want my shoes to be crisp, clean, crisp, boom. You got to make sure you have, I'm not, I'm not spending no money on a receipt book. Wherever I go, if I'm spending money, I want a receipt. If you, if you do all that cash on the system and don't give me a receipt, I'm not spending money with you. So, that's class is over. So, uh, we'll be meeting again Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And uh, who's ever been to be here? Give me a bit. You gotta have your business, business ready to go. We talk about financial literacy. Any questions? Call me. Any ideas? Call me.